In this video, I want to simplify how to build muscle. So if you've struggled to build muscle in the past, if you follow these three simple principles I'm about to share with you, you will build muscle. Now there's three different areas as I talked about. The first one is your training, so what you're actually doing in the gym. The second one is your nutrition, and the third one is consistency. So let's start with your strength training. Now, in order to build muscle, there's two things that I think are very important. Number one is increasing strength. So if you want to get bigger muscles, you have to be getting stronger. The problem is people will go into the gym and for five years of their life, they will lift the exact same weights for the same amount of repetitions. And although they're going to the gym, they're putting in the work, they're not actually getting any stronger. So if you want to build bigger muscles, you need to get stronger. And that requires lifting heavier weights. Now, I would suggest when you're starting, you have to get the form right. Okay? You don't want to go in there and lift the heaviest weights you can because you're going to injure yourself. You need to build up to it but it's about progression, okay? So when I go to the gym, I wanna challenge myself. If I'm not lifting heavy weights, I'm not getting any stronger. So you wanna be trying to lift heavy weights, make it hard on yourself. And if you can find a way that's gonna challenge you, let's say it's really tough to get about eight repetitions, that's gonna challenge you to get stronger. It's gonna force your muscles to get stronger and that will force muscle development or muscle growth. So what I would do is I would start with a heavy set, like try to beat my personal best. It's really good if you keep track. If you don't keep track, you're just going to the gym, you're guessing every time. You still will get results, especially if you're a beginner, but it's better to keep track so you know what your numbers are. So if I beat my personal best, let's say I would go and do my first set, I would try to go heavy, I would try to beat my best. And then I would take a little bit of rest, and then I would do a progressively lighter set but still challenging my muscles to be stronger. The second thing in your training is the pump. So you may have heard of this before, and you may have experienced this before. Let's say you're lifting weights, you're doing bicep curls, whatever. Okay, the more you lift those weights, the more you pump blood into those muscles, the bigger they're going to, to get, okay? Because there's, there's blood flowing into those muscles, and it's forcing the muscle to grow. Okay, so it's better to get a pump from doing those strength exercises, but if you're not feeling your muscle getting bigger, you're not feeling the blood flowing into those muscles, then you're not getting a good pump. So what you need to do is focus on the movement, the contraction of the muscles. So if I'm just doing repetitions like this, just throwing the weight around, I'm not actually focusing on the muscle. Okay? I need to focus on the bicep if I'm doing the bicep. I need to focus on the contraction as much as lifting the weight. So pumping blood into that muscle. And if you can start to feel that pump, then that's really going to help your muscle development as well. Okay, so to recap on the training, it's about getting stronger. If you're always challenging yourself, progressively increasing the amount of weight that you're that you're lifting, you're going to get stronger and it's going to force your muscles to grow. Also the pump, the amount of blood you're putting into those muscles and keeping in those muscles, forcing them to get bigger during your workout, that's going to help the muscles grow as well. Okay, so we talked about training. That's stimulating your muscles for growth. However, this is the part that most people will screw up on. If you do not provide your muscles with the proper nutrition, the nutrients that they need to grow, then they're not gonna grow. It doesn't matter if you're lifting 100 pounds over your head every time. If you are not able to give your body the nutrients that it needs on a daily basis, the muscles won't grow. So in order to grow muscle, you've heard it before, you need protein, but are you getting enough protein? To be sure, you wanna aim for about one gram of protein per one pound of body weight. So if I weigh 170 pounds, I want to try to aim for about 170 grams of protein. Now that may be difficult for you to consume that much protein simply from lean meats, chicken, turkey, fish, steak. It may feel like you have to eat a lot and that might slow you down, make you feel sluggish. So a protein shake or a protein bar is 
a good alternative if you're trying to reach those numbers, okay? But again, you need to track those numbers. If you don't track those numbers, then you're just guessing. You don't really know. So number one, stimulate the muscles to grow. Get some stronger, pump more blood into the muscles. Uh, number two, nutrition. Get enough protein. Now you can build muscle. Everyone's body is a little bit different, but you can still build muscle even if you're not needing that one gram of protein. Some people's body types will still grow muscle even if you're about 0.7 or 0.8 per pound. Some people may require a bit more, so you need to see if you're getting results. If you're doing everything that I tell you but you're not getting the results, well maybe you need to put in a little more protein. Okay, so number two is the nutrition. Yes, you also want to be eating healthy, okay? You need to meet all your macronutrients and micronutrients. So get the fruits, get the vegetables, but also those healthy carbs, brown rice like I always suggest, uh, quinoa, these other grains, corns. I try to stay away from flour personally, I try to stay away from wheat. It just doesn't mix well with my body. So I eat a lot of rice, I get my carbohydrates from fruits and um, protein. That's pretty much it. Okay, so think about that one gram per pound of body weight. And if you can consistently, that's the next point. Number three is consistency. If you can do those two things on a weekly basis and stick with it, you will see results. The problem is people get really keen. They're like, yeah, I'm going to work out really hard. And they go good. They do everything right for one week. But then they're like, ah, oh, this is exhausting. I'm just going to fall back into my old habits or I'll just, I'll just pick it up again next week, okay? Your body, you will lose all your results. Sadly, you will lose your results. And most people stay in the same place for years and years because they go to the gym, they do well for one week, but then they fall off for one week. They do well for one week, they fall off for one week, okay? To get results, consistency is so huge. And if you can master consistency, consistently going to the gym, lifting weights, becoming progressively stronger, consistently eating a healthy diet, meeting your protein numbers, consistently having the right mentality, attitude, like I'm gonna stick with this, I'm gonna do whatever it takes, and you will get results. Okay guys, so those are three things. Number one is your training. Remember, becoming stronger, getting the pump, pumping more blood into those muscles that you're working on. Number two, so crucial, nutrition. Get enough protein, to allow your muscles to grow. And number three, be extremely consistent. And if you can be consistent, you will get those results. All right, guys. So if you're watching this video series on how to become stronger, how to build muscle for soccer players, I want you to watch the next video, and that is some of the best strength exercises that I want you to do when you're going to the gym. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Remember, before you leave, please like this video, give me a quick thumbs up. Please comment below if you have any questions, post below, and I'd love to answer those for you. And please share this video with your friends or your teammates or anyone you know who wants to improve as a soccer player or learn more about this specific topic. Alright guys, talk to you tomorrow.